Okay, we got a real treat for you tonight. We saw a lot of fights tonight. I got to say one thing. Uh, no question about it. This was the fight of the night. This man put on a show. He says he tries to sell a fight. Uh, he did a really good job selling the fight, but I'm not so sure that was a sales pitch because did, when you went in there, did you have actual thoughts of killing this man? Because I never seen anything like it. I mean, you went, those shots were so hard. And when he was down, that shot, I had to look away. And I watch a lot of fights, man. That was so damn impressive. That I just want to know the adrenaline. You said you have adrenaline, but that adrenaline, you look like a caged animal in there. And that was unbelievable. What are your thoughts on that, man? That's just what happens when you let the rhino loose. You know the rhino I mean? just went nuts, huh? Exactly. You know, it's just like I said in my pre-fight, uh, my pre -fight, there's two people inside my head. One is Doug Marshall, which you're talking to right now, and the other one's the rhino. When I get in the cage and I activate that hate, I flip that switch, and it's like Mortal Kombat. It's either me or you. If there's no referee and it's on the streets and it's to the death, that's, that's what's going through my mind. You know what I mean? Plus $100,000. What I liked that you said was, and what probably motivates most people in this world, is you walked in as a dark horse. Did that get you more motivated when you walked horse. out there? But you know what? It was in his head that he was. That, every, every single fight in this tournament, the first one against Spang, I was a four to one underdog. The one against uh, Sultan Aliyev, I was a two to one underdog. I don't know, I was a two to one underdog against Brett Cooper. And I run through these guys and uh, here I am, the dark horse champion. So let's talk about the next fight. I know that you only focused on this fight that was in front of you. Uh -huh. And you know, we, we watched you in the last fight and all I was thinking about was, it was funny when you had said that I was trying to knock his beard off. <laughs> but that man had some chin, and he went three rounds with a guy that was just punching him in his face in his last match. So now let's fast forward to the next fight, okay? okay. What are you going to do in the next fight? You must have thought about it a little bit. What's your game plan? You know what, man? My game plan is always the same. You know what I mean? Knock I just, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm looking for the knockout. You know what I mean? I'm looking to go in there and punish my opponent, which is Alexander Slomanko, which is a very, very tough Russian. You know what I mean? Very, very tough. There's a lot of fights. But once again, I don't think he's fought anyone with my kind of power. When I kiss people with they my fist, they go to sleep. That's right. it. They don't just go to sleep. They go to the hospital. You know what I mean? They get helicoptered to other hospitals. You know what I mean? Like the I, rhino I, hits them, they go to sleep. Nah, I shit you not. I fought a guy uh, in uh, in Tulare, California. They had to helicopter him to Fresno, take him out on a C spine and, and everything. You know what I mean? I, I that was some ground and pound. But I saw it tonight when you touched him a couple of times. All of a sudden, I saw his face and I and I said, uh oh. All all of a sudden, the expression yeah. changed. Yeah, and didn't then all of a sudden, when you when he tried to take you down, and then all, he did take you down, then you got back up, and then you hit him again, and then he went, uh oh, exactly. the you rhino know, hit me. Bro, I mean business. Every time I step into the cage, I'm not there to f around. I'm not there to be uh, a stepping stone for anyone. I'm not there to compete. I'm there to impose my will and destroy my opponent and get my money, you know what I mean? Clearly. Last word, what do you want to say to your fans? Man, I want to say, tune in when I fight Alexander Shulmanko. It's going to be a barn burner, guaranteed. One of us is going to sleep, and it ain't going to be me. 100,000, the rhino, right here. Live from Ring Fever. Thanks, man. Thanks buddy.